Hi, I'm Jordan Ficklin, Executive Director of the American Watchmakers Clockmakers Institute. At the American Watchmakers Clockmakers Institute, our mission is setting service standards and educating the horological community. Our standards have been created with the cooperation of our partners in the watchmaking industry. As you search the internet, you will find many videos demonstrating watch repair techniques. Some of them are good and others are not. This series of educational videos on watchmaking excellence will help you become a better watchmaker. In order to keep the video short, each video focuses on a specific task and demonstrates what you are supposed to do, how you should do it to meet the standard, and why it is important. Please visit our webpage www.awci.com for more information about AWCI, our continuing education classes, or to find a professional watchmaker or clockmaker near you. Today we're going to discuss hand alignment and division standards. We'll first talk about how you can check hand alignment and division, and then we'll discuss what is the standard. The standard operating procedure for checking the hand alignment is first to align the hour hand precisely at 9 o'clock by slowly turning the hands in the clockwise direction. Next, you'll check the position of the minute hand relative to the 12 o'clock marker and take note of the deviation. The standard specifies that excellent hand alignment means the minute hand will be centered exactly on the marker. It's acceptable if the deviation is less than 30 seconds or 3 degrees of the arc. It's unacceptable if the deviation is more than 30 seconds. The standard for hand division specifies that the hands must be parallel to each other, parallel to the dial, they must not touch each other, the dial, or the crystal. Now we're going to demonstrate how you can check the hand alignment on the watch. As you can see, we're looking across the watch so that we can look down the hour hand to see when it's pointing directly at the marker. We advance it slowly, focusing on the hour hand as it approaches the 9 o'clock marker. You can see here it was still just a little bit left of the marker. The minute hand has already passed the 12 o'clock position. We're going to come back and check this again. Definitely pointing to the left of center of the marker. Get a nice good angle so we can really see here. We're going to turn it just a tiny bit more. Telling you now it's pointing directly at the center. If we look down on it, we can see that it is pointed to the center of the 9 o'clock mark and the minute hand is off by two minutes. This would not be considered acceptable work. Now sometimes you look at it, you're confirming now that it is at 9 o'clock and you wonder if it might actually be uh, in the dial itself, the air is, and not in the installation of the hands. So you can sometimes make a decision to check it at 3 o'clock as well. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to advance the hand now to 3 o'clock. We're going to look down on it until we can get it pointed directly at the center of the 3 o'clock mark. Going very slowly, focusing just on the hour hand, not on the minute hand, until we get it right on the mark. Look at it down the hand. The hand is pointing straight through the center of the mark. And again, the minute hand is off by two minutes. So we can see that there is definitely a problem here with this watch. Again, reviewing the standard, the first picture shows excellent workmanship. The second one shows the maximum deviation to acceptable to the standard. And the last two pictures scrolling show poor workmanship, deviation of the minute hand by a minute or more from the hour hand. Now when we talk about hand division, the hands must not touch the dial or hand as shown in the bottom picture or the crystal. In contrast, as the picture scrolls down from the top, the hands must be parallel to each other, parallel to the dial, and an even spacing between them. With a glossy dial like the one pictured here, you can use the reflection of the hour hand in the dial to make sure that the hand is parallel. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, you can visit our webpage, www.awci.com, to sign up for our continuing education classes, to register to attend our annual convention, to join AWCI, or to find a professional watchmaker or clockmaker near you.